Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's go over a couple things. We'll talk about the cinematics after a few things I talk about. One, we saw a couple pics of the 350Z's wrap and oh my God, that thing looks, man, words can't describe how it looks right now. It looks amazing. We are letting Joe take his time with this wrap. He's never done KVD. He's always done it on OEM stuff, fiberglass, so KVD is a little harder to wrap from what he is experienced with the wrap since he, this is his first time doing that kind of stuff. He's just explaining to us that uh, it's just how how polyurethane is. That's most of the information it was giving to us, but it looks phenomenal. It looks really, really good. Second thing is I got off work. This next week is gonna be nothing but vlogs. I have a full vacation of all next week. I will be off for a whole week and we're gonna get down to some serious stuff. I've been waiting a while to do this conversion for the S14. This is probably one of my favorite things that I like to watch. I like to watch a lot of Nissan stuff, a lot of 240 stuff in particular. I am a big 240 guy. Recently, we've been getting a lot of people subscribing to the channel, which is, which is amazing. I, I, it's awesome seeing people starting to notice the channel a little bit more. We are getting a lot of feedback from the 350 videos, 350Z videos, because you guys love 350, 350Z videos. I see it, I see the comments, I see everything. For all you new guys that are coming to watch the channel, yes, we do work on 350Zs, especially my girlfriends and my new yellow 350Z I got. Just want y'all to know that I do have an S14. This channel started with this S14. But if you're OG subscribers, this channel actually started with a Lexus IS350 to a S13 and now my S14. But guys, to all the new subscribers, this is Inspired Dreams. I am Sean Vasquez. This is my 1UZ swap S14 that I'm building for myself. I'm being very indecisive on this very first build. This is my first time ever building a car. I picked the worst thing to build which is a 240. It is, well, in this generation right now, um, I heard good stories about 240s back in the day, how cheap they were to build. I got into doing this 240 stuff and it's very expensive. So guys, to all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, just stick around. I promise we have a lot of good Z stuff coming later in the future, but check out the 240 content too, because there is a lot of good stuff for this swap. Go check out the engine that we did on this, the rear suspension that we did on this. I did a full uh, wire harness build on this, kind of. <laughs> um, basically everything on this car is almost brand new and reused, remanufactured in my own way. It does run. I have a couple of videos of it running. We've done a lot to this, to this S14. Go check it out, guys. In today's vlog, we are doing a Z32 conversion on the S14. So that's what you guys saw in the beginning of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It's gonna be very interesting. Yes, there is a lot of videos out there, a lot of content of doing a Z32 conversion build for your S13, 14. So I'll just be one of those guys, but I'm gonna explain a little bit on how to do it. We'll be doing this vlogs in probably a, a two to three part. I'm not 100% sure. I know I won't be able to get this whole vlog done in one day. Let's get today's vlog started. All right, guys. So what I have in front of me is a Z32 conversion. And what that is, is you are swapping over everything from a Z32 to a S14. Prices have gone up a lot in doing this swap. You can get Z32 front and rear calipers anywhere from 400 to $1,000, depending on who is selling it. And that's with... Well, it just all depends because I've seen them with the calipers, the rotors, anywhere from eight to a thousand dollars, and I've seen them anywhere with just the calipers by themselves for about five hundred bucks. I recommend you guys getting the PBM style. These are remanufactured, re fully built by PBM parts 
parts by max shop go check them out they have good deals on these you get a rear set of calipers z32 with brake pads for about 250 and if you want to get the full set you're about to spend about 700 dollars for the full set but they're remanufactured rebuilt you get all everything you need especially the shims and the guides to have this everything it's just let's just say everything is there already so you'll get everything brakes calipers front brake uh front calipers for about 700 bucks what else you're gonna need depending on if you're running e-brakes brake lines you will need a conversion brake line kit which is right here z32 to s14 slash s13 and i went a little extra i got the gk tech a brake line delete so this right here it basically deletes the lines that are on the firewall that goes all the way so you'll be bolting it up from here and then you'll be running a line one single line right here and it looks really really good paid for about 180 for that gk tech they're good go check them out gk tech check out pbm check out isr so i got the isr's brake line conversion kit brake lines for about 50 bucks a piece you can get gk tech you get chase base they're all good quality i've had them all next you're gonna need our z32 rotors z32 front rotors my front rotors haven't came in yet but i might steal them off of jose Make sure you get the uh the turbo spec ones because i think if i, I i'm not 100 percent sure drop comments down below but i'm pretty sure you can use na and two by two for them this right here is a r33 brake line cables these from uh injuku and you can find them on ebay uh, the reason why you go with the r30 r33 ones is because the s14 is actually longer than the s13 so you won't be able to use z32 cables for them this is only recommended for s14 and s15 and r33s this is what you're going to need if you want your e-brake to work you can run either your s14 five lugs or z32 five lugs i have both what i bought is a spacer this spacer will go in between your anchor bolt to give it an extra couple centimeters difference between your your rear knuckles and z32 knuckles so you're gonna need this spacer and it goes right here and it basically just well it doesn't go right here it goes like that and it's gonna space it out for you so you can run your cables i think that's right if you have z32 hubs, you do not have to worry about that the only reason why i got those is because i'll be running my s14s because they're still good when i drove the car these were way better put these into the knuckle they had some play in it so i'm not risking using these next thing you're gonna need is hardware but um i recommend getting brand new hardware i'm gonna be reusing the shoes the shoes still have a lot of life on them so i'll be reusing reusing those and that's pretty much it for your conversion kit when i got my z32 hardware like my shoes brake shoes and all that stuff with the anchors and all that i took one of the anchors off and i noticed that this anchor diameter is way bigger well it's not way bigger but it's bigger than the diameter of your knuckle that hole that big hole right there what a lot of people do is they'll either he I, I i saw a guy heat it up and then press the anchor in there but what i did is i just put the anchor in there got a bolt i mean got the bolt and i just zipped it in and it just went in i mean it took a little effort and it went it went straight in so that's what i'll be doing um i'll be going over everything that we do like i said this this vlog is going to be probably two parts at most if not three parts i really want to get the s14 driving as soon as possible because it it's ready it's ready to go it just needs the the lines the calipers and it's ready to go all right before we do anything we got to get the we got to put these cables on first so i already have the old cables off yes i do they're over there i already have the old cables off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh the r33 cables on and jose's over here messing around with it you guys haven't seen jose in a while oh no y'all saw him at the at joe's guys before we put this uh r33 cable on we disassemble this real quick and we'll just do a time lapse because i got to get the old cable from the s14 off. not 
lose this part. This part is really hard to find. So do not lose these. Do not lose this. You can replace this. You can replace everything right here. All this stuff you get from Z1 Motorsports. So basically I bought two because I thought a whole set comes in one package, but no. You get two of them, you get two sets in one package. I bought an extra one. We can clean this up and get ready to rebuild this. I'll be using my old shoes. They still have a quite a bit life on them, so there's nothing wrong with these. If you want Z1 Motorsports, do sell these. Clean this up as well. I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna have all this clean. All right, guys, I lied. We're not gonna put this in. First, you need to line up the Z32 vacuum backing plate with your knuckle, which will be like that. Since I'm using S14 knuckles, PBM, they make a spacer for it. This insert right here does not line up properly with this. It's a couple centimeters off. You can use it just like this. You just put it on like that. It's not gonna line up properly, but how I see it is, just put it in there. Just make sure it's lined up. Make sure all your bolt holes are lined up. Use these. You can use the bolts from the hubs and put them in there so everything can line up. A lot of people have a hard time getting this anchor into the S14 knuckle. And get my impact and just start impacting the nut on and it should just go straight in. So that anchor bolt is a 27, or anchor nut is a 27. Make sure everything just stays lined in. So guys, it does take a couple of tries to get this to line up properly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the, um, the spacer, like I said, it doesn't line up at all, but it still works as a spacer if you guys are gonna still use it. I recommend using your Z32 or go get Z32. So since we have this already assembled, now we can start actually working on putting the brake shoes on now. We can actually put the R33 line in. And then it needs to go into that like that. Make sure that bolt lines up. It's the next day. It's uh, morning time. Came to the shop to show the rest of the assembly for the brake shoes for the Z32 conversion on the S14. Lube from the kit you got and just put it in these corners right here where it's lifting up a little bit. Once you have your e-brake cable in, you're gonna wanna get the shoe, the shoe that has this part. You'll put the e-brake cable through right here and it'll stay in place like that. And you'll get your shoe, you'll line it up like that. So on these sides right here, you've got these pins just like that. And then what you do is these pins will lock in place. So get a flathead and there's a hole right here on your shoe right there. And then there's an indention where you can line it up look, like that and you turn it. But make sure you put it through the hole right here. You're gonna have to squeeze and make sure everything lines up. Properly lined up. This piece right here, it's gonna go like this. You're gonna have your spring. So whenever you're doing your, your brake shoes, this is always gonna be facing that way towards the car. So you'll have it just like this with the spring in and everything else. And then we're gonna put the adjuster right here in a minute. So this is the adjuster. It has a screw inside and then it just has a side where it goes in like that. Basically, just screw it all the way in. There, that's a lot better. So next you're gonna use this one, and it goes right here, the hook, and right here. Just like that. These are gonna be the harder ones, I think. 
one goes on that side and you get to pull it onto here. But first, you need this. Do not lose this. This piece is very hard to get. I don't think it goes on like that. Give me a minute, this is really hard. All right, that took uh, a good couple uh, minutes because these two are probably the fucking hardest things to get on if you don't have the correct tool. I was basically just using a flathead screwdriver. I was going like that while I was holding it with my finger to try to, to get it on. It worked, it took a couple tries, but it's on. So, and that's basically how you assemble your Z32 brake shoes assembly, pretty much. So now we're gonna put the, the hub on and we'll go from there. And just like that, I got the hub on. It's all nice and good. So what the spacer does from PBM on the anchor, if you don't use it, there's a, the stud from the, from the hub actually hits the anchor. So this spacer right here actually pushes it out so it doesn't do that. Let's get the knuckle. Oh, let's get this knuckle on. Thanks to YouTube magic. And just like that, I have all everything assembled. Let's get this nut tightened down for the axles. All right, the part that I, I've been waiting for the, for the most is to put the Z32 rear calipers on. Let's put those on real quick. I gotta get the rotor and then turn it and make sure everything uh, spins fine and we'll go from there. Such a good looking caliper. Go check PBM out. Conversion is finally done. Oh man, crazy. I just hope everything works. <laughs> I only have everything for the rear. New lower control arm, all new arms, new suspension, new hardware. Oh man, crazy man. So I already did the other side, let's go check it out. So I had the other side already done. Looks about the same. Boy, it is the same, looks all the same and stuff. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go underneath the car, lift the car up a bit, go underneath it and connect the cables to the um, Z R33 cables up to the e-brake. I put the e-brake cables in. I didn't, I didn't show y'all guys, there's a reason why. I was trying to figure out how the R33 cables go onto the S14 because it's two different cars, but the links are identical in length as the car. So because on S14s, when you do this uh, conversion, you have to have a bracket for the Z32. So the cool thing about it is, let me show you, let's get under here. So this is the R33 cable and it bolts up to factory bolting and it goes straight into there. You can put them into these, uh, I guess, grooves or whatever you want to call them, holders. Cause there's one right there and then there's one right there and they go all the way to the e-brake cable. And it's the same style, same way on the both sides. So it, look at the tension. It's like really, really good. Let me go show you the e-brake. I never had an e-brake on this car. Oh yeah. Sweet. Now you have a R33 e-brake cable. Work on your S14 with a Z33 conversion. Pretty crazy. So everything works. Awesome. Big issue that we're gonna come into is putting the fluid in for the diff and the transmission because I do want to drive this car. We got to figure out what's what's gonna make noise. All right, guys. The last part of the vlog today is we're gonna be putting the ISR conversion brake lines from the Z32 to the OEM right here. Yeah. Bottom one down here, that's an 11. And just like that, the whole conversion is, is done. The whole rear end is pretty much done. I'm so excited. And for this side, just like that, brake lines are on. I'm so stoked. I just hope everything goes as planned. Next, we gotta put a diff fluid in, trans fluid, start working in the front, cause I gotta do the lines for the power steering. I gotta do the brake lines. So in the next vlog, we'll probably be doing the front um, PBM calipers, which are back over there. 
the deleted brake line kit, ISR front uh, conversion kit or conversion lines. Oh man. Getting this bad boy ready to turn on and take its first drive hopefully in the next uh, week or so. Like I said, we'll be doing the uh, GK Tech brake line uh, delete kit. I still got the power strain lines I gotta do, which will hook up from here. I gotta get a line for this to go to the power steering. And after that, I gotta make sure the car turns on. I gotta put some fuel in it, make sure all the temps are good. Gotta redo the seal on the oil pan. But hopefully everything goes fine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, it was just nothing but S chassis stuff. If you guys are into the S chassis, give us a like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more S chassis stuff because this is what the channel was based off of. Don't get me wrong, we're gonna do a lot of more Z stuff once I start working on my 350Z. But this S14 is my main project as of right now before I start on the Z. All I wanna do is just to get it running and driving so I can drive it. Um, even if I have to drive it out and in the shop, that's it's better, dude. We came a long way with this car. So go check out our all, all our other videos of building this 1UZ. We didn't do nothing special. We pretty much just bulletproofed it and put ARP head studs. Go check that out. We, we disassembled the whole block and did all kinds of stuff. So, oh, I gotta make sure the clutch is fine on this. I'm, I'm just so, so overwhelmed, but I'm excited and stoked for our when this thing comes alive and drives fine so guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next vlog coming out soon